We have three ranges, three ranges of combat. Ranges are based upon distance, not a striking method or a, not a, we don't, we don't use the terminology kicking, punching, trapping, grappling, like most martial artists. It's not like that at all. You can do anything. You can kick from long range, you can punch from long range. Both, you can do both. So it's not divided like that. It's the distance, designation of distance. Long range is where your head and torso are always safe, always. Okay. Close range is what? Do I remember? That means when I'm inside the extension of the arm. So when you're inside the extension of the arm, you're in close range. So what's really happening is if I'm get inside here, follow through. See, if I'm the one moving forward, follow through, I hit you with the follow through of the weapon after the contact. After the contact, the weapon, weapon. Or it could be here, even an empty hand. See the forearm? See, if you were to drive through me, that would be close quarter. See, because you're inside the extension of my hand, okay? Inside the punch, okay? Any of this distance is close quarter. But the real application is to follow through with the strike. See, you come up two to two, see, follow through. See, if I ranged out, well, you didn't have it. You had it in the beginning. Again, it depends upon where we're moving because nobody stands still when they're fighting. Okay? So if you come and you start moving with me, oh, see, I just got out. If I didn't wave my body out, you'll collapse that and I'll get hit. That's close quarter. Inside the extension of the hand, inside the extension of the arm. And then extreme close quarter <clears throat> is when we move and strike through your position right here. So if I step through, see, you have to get out. But you're not going to because you're going to be hit also, see? That's when I step through your position and strike through the position of my opponent. That's extreme close quarters. Usually, we're doing some type of close quarter striking like this. See, if I'm stepping through the distance of my opponent and striking through them, that's extreme close quarters, okay? So long range is, many people say, oh, it's just the target to the hand. Actually, it's the target from the hand to the shoulder, okay? Actually, hand from the shoulder, anywhere. But my torso and my head are always safe. I'm never online for the strike or in the distance of the strike. So that's the difference between long and close and extreme close quarter. Now, what is, what's missing? What, what would most people say is missing? What range? Medium. There's no medium range, okay? Medium range is where the range where actually you hit each other, okay? This is where a lot of people are not, haven't been trained properly, okay? Uh, think that you're fighting. I hit the hand and then you hit me in the chest. Or I do something very unintelligent. I immediately try and go to your head and then you either hit my hand or we hit each other, okay? You cannot do that. Number one, because you're not gonna be standing still, but again, what a lot of people don't understand is you're moving, you're constantly moving. And if you can't judge and understand the range of strikes when people are moving, so attack, see? Or attack, see from here, see if I stayed here, you would have the follow through. But if I just slipped, do that too again, See, if I just slipped here, I kept my foot position, but I angled my torso up. Now I may add that strike. So there's a lot of variables. The variable is that you're never standing still. You're always moving, okay? So you have to be able to judge this with movement. There's nothing that you can do if you're standing still because you will hit each other, okay? And if you don't understand the range, then you're not gonna, you, you don't know how to fight actually. That's the bottom line. If you don't understand range, long range, close range, and extreme close quarters, and how to strike in those ranges dynamically while you're moving, then you don't know how to fight. So we'll show you today how to do that.